The console Carnage League is putting the best PUBG teams from around Europe against each other in the first ever officially supported PUBG console tournament. Find out who's playing and how you can watch it right now. The Carnage League finals are taking place across the next four Sundays on October the 18th, October the 25th, November the 1st and November the 8th. You can catch all the action on the PUBG EU Twitch channel where I am going to be casting all of the games. The session on the 18th kicks off at 6 p.m. CEST, that's Central European Summer Time, and the other three sessions kick off at 6 p.m. CET because the clocks change, so that's just normal Central European time. Each finals day comprises of 16 teams fighting across four matches, giving us 16 total games from which will take the points to decide the overall winners. There's all sorts of fantastic prizes these teams can win, including 4K gaming monitors, pro controllers, and much, much more. The tournament is taking place in a TPP squad format, and the maps played are gonna be Erangel, Sanok, Vikendi, and then another Erangel. We're using standard super settings and point scoring, which means you get points of placement, and also a point for every kill that your team gets. Now, there were tons of teams that registered to play in this tournament. It was way, way more popular than I think anyone anticipated it would be. And I think there was somewhere in the region of 200 plus teams that wanted to play. Sadly, over the four qualifying days, there was only space for 64 teams to attempt to qualify. And the top 16 teams from those four qualifiers are the teams we are gonna see in the finals. But hopefully, if we get another opportunity to do another tournament like this in the future, we can expand the qualifiers to give more chance for other people to have a crack. Personally, I would love to see them do another tournament in the future with maybe double the amount of qualifier days or some other way that allows a lot more teams to have a go at trying to get in. And I would also like to see the next one, them give a chance to do it in an FPP and seeing how popular that is. So who are the 16 teams that made it through to play in the finals? Running down the leaderboard in order of qualifying position from first to last, we have Avita, BT2, CR, Pizza and Paella, Q1, Rascals, RMV, AVR, SMB1, BT1, SND, FOTT, BKG, Blake, Team Finland and SMB2. For most of you, that's probably just a long list of letters that means absolutely nothing, but for those in the comp scene, they'll probably be familiar with some of those teams. As you can see, as we go through the leaderboard, Team Avita put in a very, very strong performance on day two of the qualifiers, taking home by far and away the biggest points haul. They hit 96 points and three chicken dinners from their four qualifying matches. Not only did they grab three chicken dinners, but they also got 60 kills, by far and away the most kills of any team in the qualifiers, and have certainly got to be favorites going into the finals. Behind them, we have BT's second team coming in, BT2. They grabbed a pretty respectable 38 kills from their four qualifier games on day one, and they grabbed a chicken dinner along the way closely followed by cranks esports who grabbed 30 kills and 50 points both of those teams qualifying from day one running down the rest of the leaderboard from third all the way down to 16th there was only about 20 points in it smiling butchers just creeping in the bottom there grabbing in one chicken dinner which helped them sneak into the last qualifying spot with nearly every team that qualified securing at least one chicken dinner. There were a few teams who missed out after getting a chicken dinner like AK, Pull Up Gang, and Ring of Death Gold. Taking a look at day one of the qualifiers, we can see the top three teams from this session were BT2, Cranks Esport, and Rascals, who all go through to the finals rounds. And we can see over on the right here that the most damage done that day was by BT Beastly, doing a very impressive 19 100 damage and the top fragger of the day was BT Beast. On day two, we had Team of Vita come in like a freight train and absolutely dominate their whole group. They grabbed three chicken dinners, 60 kills, giving them 96 points. Second place went to RMV1 and Team Finland snuck in that third spot. 
Most damage for that day was the Gargod grabbing three and a half thousand damage. And he also grabbed top fragger with 24 kills over those four matches. Day three saw quality first, BT1 and SND take the top three spots with Donnie from BT grabbing the most damage with 1400 and SND Palmer dropping 12 kills as the top fragger. The final day of qualifying saw Pizza and Paya taking the top spot with 49 points and then Avenger Game coming in second and the smiling butchers coming in third most damage for the day was polonara and the top fragger was the very same with 13. now personally i'm really really looking forward to seeing the finals of this i can't wait to see the level of competition i think it's going to be pretty fierce the qualifiers was quite a mixed bag of skill level now we've got the best 16 teams from those 64 teams battling it out and I think it's going to be really good entertainment. As mentioned before, if you want to watch it, I'm going to be casting all 16 of those finals games across those four Sundays mentioned at the beginning of the video. That's going to be on the PUBG EU Twitch channel and I'll also host it over on our own Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash thebeardguys. I'd love to know who you're supporting in the tournament, so leave a comment down below and let me know who you think is going to take home the championship. Team Evita dominated the qualifiers, but can they remain so strong when in a more competitive field? Let me know down below who you think is going to win in the tournament, and hopefully I will see some of you there on Sunday.